my hipster glasses! Hey guys, welcome to the Cat in the Cardboard Box. I'm the cat and this is the box. And today, we are doing more q and A. I I know. I should have probably waited a little longer, but when I get tagged into stuff, I can't help but do it right away because it's exciting when I get tagged because I rarely get tagged in things. Even if it is a survey for 2012. So, yeah, uh, Nerimon, Ner yeah, I think that's how you say it. Yeah, Nerimon's survey for 2012, I was actually uh, tagged in it in 2013, but you know, I can't, I can't resist being tagged in something, so I will do it now. I did, I'd never done it anyways, so, all right, cool. Why you called that? Well, actually, for this question, I uh, texted my mom to kind of confirm uh, the story, because I actually haven't heard the full detailed story of why I'm named Alicia. Um, but basically, it's sh she had a um, colleague in Mexico. She went to Mexico a lot. Uh, for work and school and travel. So her favorite colleague that she worked with, I guess, um, his wife's name was Alicia. And she liked how it sounded, and in English, I assume, because she called me Alicia, not Alicia. Um, but that explains why my name is A-L-I-C-I-A. -I and it's kind of funny that I studied Spanish <laughs> a lot. Um, yeah, and she said that they were both wonderful people, or are wonderful people, and um, that's basically it. Tell us about your favorite teacher. Actually, I have been lucky enough in um, my life to have lots of awesome teachers. Lots of horrible teachers, but also lots of awesome teachers. But I have to say that my favorite would probably be um, Senior Becker's from high school, my high school Spanish teacher. Um, his class was my first Spanish class and the first day like I knew that I wanted to be a Spanish teacher. Now I'm not going to be a Spanish teacher, I've changed Spanish to psychology but it did spark my love for Spanish. Now, I've already had a little bit of background in Spanish just because my mom, you know, went to Mexico a lot and named me after her Latina woman and she went to Mexico when she was pregnant with me so I must have heard Spanish in her belly and and she she tried teaching me Spanish when I was little a little bit and stuff so you know I had a little bit of background but I didn't love it until Mr. Becker's class and also just because Mr. Becker's was the one who sent me to Spain for that whole month in uh, last last summer yep he was the one who called me up and said hey you wanna go to Spain we were asked to pick what student we think would be the best and me and the other Spanish teacher that I had who was also awesome um, thought that you would be perfect for it and voila I went to Spain gracias senor Beckers anywho what's the strangest food you've ever eaten? well going back to Spain um. There was a lot of things that I had never eaten before until I went to Spain. Uh, one of them being rabbit, which was very hard to eat. I didn't know it was rabbit. I didn't know what the word, Spanish word for rabbit was either. So once they explained to me and was like, hop, 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 and I was like, and I was just sitting there with a rabbit leg in my hand. And I had to hold in so many tears. Like, I'm not a person who would be a vegetarian because I'm against killing animals, that's the way of life. I started thinking about my old friend Hoppy, who I got at the state fair when I was a child, and... Mm, Hoppy! But that's not the weirdest thing that I've eaten. Actually, the weirdest thing that I've eaten is octopus. There's a dish in Spain that is uh, called paella, um, and it's usually like with rice, and some sort of meat and lots of stuff and being by we were living by the coast of the Mediterranean you know there was a lot of seafood in the paella 
in that area near Barcelona, and I was eating it, you know, and there was shrimp with, like, the head still on, staring at me, which was torture. By the end, I did end up eating shrimp and actually, like, doing it myself, but it was, it was very, very hard process. Um, but yeah, and so I'm eating this, and I, f you know, there's these weird, like, chunks that are really, like, chewy, and I had my suspicions, and uh, the sp suspicions were confirmed when I found suckers on some parts of it, and I was like, I, again, I didn't have the word for it, but I was just like, does this animal have eight legs? and swims and big head and stuff and they're just like yes and then I'm just like cool and it was actually good so I kept eating tell us about your first concert I'm gonna say right now that I am not a big concert person I am claustrophobic especially in crowds I'm not a fan of loud sounds and I overheat quite easily so Concerts are probably the worst thing ever for me to go to because there are crap ton of people there. It's hot and it's sweaty, especially like in the mosh pit and stuff, and it's very loud. And so all of those can kind of trigger anxiety attacks and then freak outs and maybe crying in a bathroom. So I try to avoid them. Um, but there is one uh, festival that me and my parents go to often um, called Higher Ground, which is um, more, you know, like nicer Christian music, but it's not all that. It's not all that. Praise the Lord! It's, you know, they've had like Hawk Nelson there, which he doesn't, they don't sing about God, but they're just, they don't have swear words and stuff in there. You know, cleaner music, I guess. And that's always in a big, like, cornfield, you know, and so like, if I want to back away, I can go way over there and get mini donuts and still hear and listen and be like, yeah, I'm outside, <sighs> got this kind of thing. Whereas like indoor concerts, no. What is your favorite place? At my parents' house, um, there is like this big shed in the backyard. Um, and next to it is this giant bush of lilacs, a lilac bush. And um, when I was little, I used to uh, fight my way through the branches to get between the bush and the wall of the shed. And there's just this perfect little space. It was a perfect size for me and my dog. Yeah, I would just sit there for probably hours. Just look up and you could just watch the leaves move in the sunlight coming down. It was like the best thing ever. And I think even now that's my favorite place. And lastly, who do you want to answer these questions? I want my friend Caitlin to answer these questions. Yeah, that's the only person I'm going to tag in this. Caitlin. Flame Mask. I have multiple friends who are named Caitlin, um, but only one does YouTube, so you know who you are. And there you have it. That is today's episode. Hope you enjoyed me doing this survey, and I'm gonna go continue packing because I only have two more weeks left of school, which is so happy, but I feel so sad. It's bittersweet, and I hate packing. Okay. If I don't see you soon, I will see you next week. Bye! Flame Mask. I have multiple friends who are named Caitlin. Um, but only one does YouTube, so you know who you are. Mm. Do it. You promised that you would do more vlogs. So here's a thing that you can do. And do more vlogs. You can do this as a vlog. You're welcome.